So I think one of the best parts of this educational series has been being able to share with you exactly the things that we've learned here at Flat Six Innovations. My team and I over the last two decades have worked to understand this engine and come up with our own ways of putting things together and I've been able to share that with you here in the series. Now one of those things I call silver bullets and I mentioned silver bullets quite a bit in my hands-on classes and I'm going to share a silver bullet with you now and basically what you have here is one of these scavenge pump o-rings that actually was used in the original engine when we took it apart. So this is one of the original parts out of our engine that we have here. Now if you remember in the very beginning and all through my classes, if you've been to a class, I say do not throw any of your old parts away until the new engine is running. And the reason for that is because you can use some of those old parts as tools. And in this case, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now this used to seal up one of the scavenge pumps in the engine when it first came apart. And this seal goes on the back of the scavenge pump. You'll actually see us installing a new one of those in the next couple of scenes here. And we, it actually seals off to this area of the cylinder head. It also is the perfect diameter to work as a tool to help you in your quest to ensure that we do not have any extra sealant getting into these areas at the back of the cylinder head here, these drains as we call them, okay? We're gonna actually use this seal to help ensure we do not have any problem with residual sealant blocking those. So all I want to do is kind of hold it like this and cut it in half. Now I end up with a pair of tools. And I want to show you how I use these tools to keep from having an issue when it comes to too much sealant in the drains at the back of the cylinder head. Okay, so first off, I'm actually going to lubricate this cut up o-ring, if you will, and I'm doing that so it will be easy to remove a little bit later on. So we're putting the grease on it here. You could use high viscosity lubricant as well if you wanted to, but it may actually get on the sealing surface a little bit more, and you don't really want to do that. So I go about an inch or so right there, and then I just take it and put it into the drain. So this leaves us with the tools that we actually made from the cut up old scavenge pump O-ring. Now, if you did this properly and you use enough of the grease and things like that, these will come out. Now you will have to tug on them pretty good because as you pull on them, they will actually shrink a little bit and that's what makes them work so beautifully is as you pull, they shrink and they're able to pop out of there and leave that galley completely open with as much oil flow through it as absolutely possible. I'll begin with this one. So you can see that we don't have any of the real grease left on here anymore, but we have a little bit of sealant trying to contact it. That drain pathway is 100% open. Now we'll remove this one. This works beautifully. Need to rebuild your Boxster, Cayman, or 911 model M96 or M97 engine? Let Porsche engine specialist Jake Raby walk you through the step-by-step -step process of assembling your Porsche M9X engine. This educational video series clarifies many of the difficult procedures that are not clear or even found in the factory shop manual. Jake Raby will offer many of his tricks that he calls silver bullets to help you avoid the common pitfalls associated with rebuilding a high-performance engine like the Porsche M9X. LN Engineering customers receive exclusive special pricing on the Focus on M9X Engine Assembly Video Series, Workbook, and Torque Spec Book from the Knowledge Group. Call or visit LN Engineering to learn more.